Hello and welcome to the Telium Martech Challenge uh, for how to track failed keywords. My name is Brian Moore. I'm a digital strategist at Telium. I'll be guiding the challenge and the solution today. So failed keywords. When we're trying to solve the problem of what keywords are visitors searching on my website that yield zero results. So this is a poor experience for visitors. Um, this is already a a high interest behavior, the activity of performing a search to find something that they're looking for, and zero results is you know a poor user experience, and we're trying to understand why this is happening. It could be because your product catalog or your content is not indexed properly to match the terms being used by the visitor, or maybe you don't even have those products in your store or on your that content on your website to begin with. Uh, so hopefully we can understand a little bit more about what's going on by analyzing these interactions and ultimately make some changes that net more conversions on your website. So the solution is fairly simple. We're going to set a filtered stream to capture the failed keywords. We're going to enable that filtered stream for event DB. And then finally we'll analyze the failed keywords in a BI tool of choice. Today we're going to be using Tableau. So let's jump to Telium's UDH. So from the dashboard, we're going to jump to live events. We've already got a field keywords filtered stream configured here. So we can see at the top we've got page name contains search results and search results is empty. So these are the criteria for the sample store that we tested on. Your implementation may vary. If you needed to change anything in uh, your filtered stream, you can come back into here and edit the configuration specifically. Also, this is where you enable the filtered stream for the data access products, either event store or event DB. So once you've got your filtered stream set up, you can save and publish. I've already done that, so we're going to jump to the data access console and we will retrieve our database connection details here with this first button. So these are the Redshift credentials. These are all the things you're going to need to connect in Tableau or whichever uh, data visualization tool you're selecting. So once we have this, we are ready to jump into Tableau. So here's where you can edit your connection to the Redshift cluster. We're using the same information pulled from that data access console. Um, and once we've got that entered, we can connect and select our schema, which is specific to the failed keywords filtered stream. We can see it there, and that's what we've brought into the view here. So once we've got the selected view, we're ready to jump into the visualization. This is just a sample view of the trend, the trend line of queries, failed keyword queries over time. Uh, so we can analyze and see if there was some um, coincidental change in the way the site was performing. Maybe we had code releases or something that coincided with some change. We can also look at the actual queries themselves. Um, we can see here that there's um, maybe some themes between outerwear, uh, winterwear. Uh, there may be some misspellings, which is obviously not good. Um, we might see some classifications. Folks are searching by different materials which our product catalog might not be indexed for. We can also pivot this type of information using the visitors view which is an audience uh, audience level information and here we can see the volume of queries between two different audiences VIPs and window shoppers and we can see here that the VIPs don't make up nearly as many queries as the window shoppers so we can drill in further and focus just on those VIP queries. These might be the place we start to guarantee we have the best experience for our most valuable customers and then if we have time we'll get to optimizing for the queries of the window shoppers. The window shoppers we can see um, a lot more long tail. It looks like they're searching specific product manufacturing part numbers or SKUs or identifiers. Um, so this might be an opportunity to to make sure that our site search functionality is performing as expected. 
Um, you know, first of all, do we handle misspellings? Uh, do we handle part or SKU numbers by the manufacturer or only by our native um, catalog identifiers? Um, and how do we handle out-of-stock items? So maybe there's a SKU that's out of stock. This one might be a good candidate there as it's pretty high up on the list. Maybe we don't have the option for folks to find out-of-stock SKUs even if those might be replenished in the future, which would be a good opportunity. Um, so that's the basics of the solution. Uh, we've set up our filtered stream to capture the events. We enabled it for event DB, and then we connected to event DB in uh, Tableau. So thank you for joining today. That was uh, Telium's MarTech Challenge. My name's Brian. Uh, visit telium.com forward slash challenge to submit your own challenges, and uh, we'll try and help you solve them. Thanks again.